Okay, so this game fired with Lime, 320, Mighty, and MMK. It's very nice to have a game. Lime is rated 118, Mighty rated 494, MMK rated 370. We're behind Lime, so that's generically a good thing. Yeah, for the audience. And, uh... The game is asking me if I would like some bake help. The game is clearly asking me if I would like some bake help. This is the most freshman game of all time. I guess baking course is sufficient for that. So, if we can find a good grain source, we want that. My occupations are terrible. Like, really, really awful for draft 10. Um, open air farmer is good. I will say that. But the rest of this seems pretty unplayable. Also, open air farmer takes away <laughs> the best combos with the highest potential minor improvement here. And that's wonderful. That is just peachy. Can I take anything else? No, I can't. Open Air Farmer is my only legal pick. This is so sad. Do I just take Stable Tree for the... Just because? I'm not going for this. It, this is no good. Um, or do I just take Flail or Threshing Board? I have come around to Flail probably being the better pick than Threshing Board. Do I have anything to regret? I don't need to regret anything immediately? That's wonderful. I'm glad that I'm not regretting anything immediately. Luminous Lumen. This pick, Aquise, is either Pioneer or Land Air. I guess land air is fine. It's not super exciting. Uh, maybe I should try Pioneer one of these days. I don't think I've ever tried this version of it that gives you a resource and a food immediately. Woodsaw worth remembering tactically for later. Jug is in the game, as is Ox Skull, interestingly. Um, I still don't regret not doing the veggie thing, because there's no clay. This pack is a problem. It has good synergy with the previous one. They're both trash. So true. KLJ, uh, you suggested yesterday the three rooms on top of two rooms, right? You should check the, the emotes. <laughs> I didn't do exactly that, but... It's close. Uh, BGA did add the E to the cards. On, uh... As well as a few other... Editions. You don't believe Mighty when they say they aren't trying to snipe me? Sure. Pioneer is so fun. Yeah, I, I like the Pioneer minigame. I mean, especially if you get Outrider with it. Ooh. Then we're talking.
Yeah, but uh, for those of you who are now seeing it for the first time, I more or less implemented KLJ's suggestion in honor of this arena season. In addition to Luminous 3 rooms, we now have Luminous 3 plus 2 rooms. Um, okay. Are these cards better? I mean, yes, they are. Upside down is a great touch. Thank you. I thought so too. Um, this is not a user fructuary game. Also, the face on this dude is creepy. How do I not pick Reed Belt Retail Dealer here? I, I don't. I just pick those. And everyone's happy. We don't want Forest Plow at non with Flail. Uh, Sundial would be great on the wheel. Water Lily Pond is fine. These miners are all totally fine. Plow Driver probably picks Roof Ladder or Trowel. There was a Groom. Which I don't really care about. Blackberry Farmer is funny with open air. Um, it could definitely be worth like 10 food this game. I am a big fan of Stable Sergeant. So I'm probably picking it. Scythe looks really good with uh, Sundial. And Flail in general. Yeah, I definitely need uh, late ox with these two. Yeah, and I think uh, I have escaped uh, the feel bad of not picking stable tree. Unless I passed it into a secret sample stable or something like that. We are passing clay deposits after uh, passing collier. That is a small issue. Potato ridger is a fun place to throw veggies into, but the only big veggie card we saw was the thing that needs clay and food. Yeah, that's fine. Did I see fishing combos? Maybe? You picked Usufructuary once on fourth seat and then got Ock first move? Unfortunate. Those are uh, reasonable guesses, washed up player. <laughs> I was pretty locked into the middle option that you wrote, but I guess it could be the other two as well. What has come back? All three bake helpers came back. That's mildly interesting. Neither of the veggie things came back. That's also mildly interesting. Take Threshing Board for the double bake on Farmland and Cultivation. I don't know if I have any better ideas. The Minor Pig Breeder looks good. Um, and, I mean, good is... An interesting word to use. Maybe field cultivator is just better. Uh, 
Scythe doesn't accelerate this, unfortunately. How do I feel about two wood, two clay, two reed, and a stone? Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't need a pig breeder. And the other awk option, I think, was Joiner of the Sea, but I really don't believe in the card. Plus, I plan on baking pretty intensely. So yeah, we also want to be a little opportunistic about uh, any potential early sheep pile. Obviously, early sheep is good with the loom. Uh, ox skull, possibly fine here. Using stable sergeant to activate it. Not super exciting. Um, the ock is almost certainly seatmate here. Yep, I don't see any reason to take anything else. I guess you could um, say party organizers a very good food out in case we get bake blocked. But uh, I don't think that's going to be as good as the possible goodness we could get from seatmate. Um, ideally, the ideal seatmate situation usually is that round 13 is cultivation and you're going second or fourth in round 14, and uh, you get to plow so last action. Imagine there was a brewery pond fishing reed bank combo. You could take Joiner of the Sea and easily come in second. Wise words. The VLT throwing a, a vote for Joiner of the Sea. <laughs> Alright, uh, so first action, we're gonna awk. No matter what Lime does. Sundial came back, which is excellent. Um, yeah, usually I'd take Fellow Grazer. I don't think I have time for Blackberries. I think I'm doing better stuff than that, which means I'm taking Patch Caregiver. With the Sundial, and we do care about getting a couple early fields. Um, in general, I like Retail Dealer and Storehouse Keeper more. Uh, sitting after lower rated players who often, not always, take resource market less. Also in this format I think resource market is just more available starting from pretty early on in the game. That being said, of course every game is different. Yeah, a, a somewhat interesting draft. We don't have anything too powerful, but we do have some potentially excellent baking going on. Yeah, Sundial last pick does feel good. Craft Teacher, because you get... Yes, that's why Craft Teacher is better in Draft 10. Uh, yeah, I would say that it is backseating to discuss the draft in case I have forgotten something. I appreciate you asking. Uh, that being said, if I've mentioned it post-draft, then it's fine. Or, I guess, like, if I say it right now, and then you remind me of something in round 13, that's not great either, so I guess if I've said it pretty recently, I guess would be the, the okay to talk about it.
Well, I'm definitely not, like, 100% on the baking line, especially with sheep round one. But I'm not going to play open air farmer uh, with enough priority to take three wood there. We do have a forest reviewer from Lime. Uh, that and the reed belt do make this a pretty high reed game. I guess BMW would be a good thing to aim for. If I don't get start, um, I'm happy to plow. You could argue that I should plow anyway. Reed belt is minus two food. I'm going to be responsible. All right, let's uh let's cut the chat of the baking line speculation being good or not. There there's a whole game to yet be played here. Mighty starting with forest plow. And two clay for MM. Early tree inspector. Early tree inspector. That thing's gonna have two wood on it in round four and then might get killed in round five. It seems like a very interesting move to prioritize this early. Um, there is, of course, a tree guard alert on that, uh, and you could just consider it a forest plow space. Private plow action is not particularly exciting, though, if you ask me. Alright, MM is in a think here. Um, yeah, which I was gonna say implies to me that reedstone is not or they probably need to do something besides reedstone even if they want to take it three wood or ock could both be very important to them going fourth in round one hello merrick I will be patient. Patch Caregiver is playable here for sure. But getting Land Air out of the way feels good too. We do have the Loom indeed. Not being able to play a Miner now is unfortunate. Mighty is apparently not super excited about to read. Never use land hair, it's solid. It is solid. Um, getting four clay at that point in the game uh, 
like makes sure you have some food outs by then, usually. Second action here might just be wood. Mighty does finally settle on the generically good fifth action of round two. Ooh, we got a plow from MM. Uh, nobody's starting. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay. This will all work. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. There's the tree guard. Things are not fine. I probably would have taken three wood first. Uh, reed belt because luminous three plus two rooms. Hey, Alex. <laughs> it's your fault. This is your fault. Noted. Pioneer. Solid. Wood food, I would guess. Maybe read food and take BMW. We do have uh, late major. I assume MM is actually going to um, start for Major with Pioneer. Well, we finally get to Retail Deal. it even called now? Roast Master. I like Roast Master. That doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> Here's the start for Major. Whoa. I am absolutely not holding you to that, Alex, but that's very nice of you. Good luck on getting to that milestone. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, these, uh...
These rounds have not been the easiest. You know, I could have gone open air farmer early and I'd have the big pile of sheep. And yeah, I don't know. It does look like MMK is going for super early stone, which is super fun. Props to them. Please do it. You're in your first game versus Tree Guard. It makes you feel bad to start. Yep. I agree. I fully agree. It also causes field bad moments. Um, when... you're in the growth queue and need to pass up a ginormous stack because you have to. I am hoping for like start into wood, but mighty right after me is probably shutting it down. Yep, that, that's why I'm a little surprised, even with Tree Guard at early Tree Inspector. It is definitely a risk there. Get an Auk for MM here. Wreck Carpenter. Yeah, sorry, just evaluating my options here, and I don't think it's worth um, to sew. We'll just let Sundial do that. Um... If I three wood, what does Mighty do? That's the big question. I'm going to assume Mighty does something besides start. We'll see uh, how well that works. You have to actually try it early to realize how little of a combo it is early. Yep. We're going all in. We know what round five we're rooting for. <laughs> oh, baby. It's not a bad trade in the abstract. Um, the tempo of it is... Uh, Questionable. Mighty saying in chat, pray. Ah, uh, succeeds. Hate to see it. Oh, and MM is going to be able to build. I don't need to start with my first action, but I will need to start and build. Uh... Hmm. And Lime can build. Would they? Instead of grow? 
No, that would be crazy. Uh, I could just take the wood, though. How do you conjure a wood out of nowhere? Not that. You have one arc I don't know about. I'm gonna say my compensation is adequate. If MMK like has an arc that gives wood, uh, playing Rec Carpenter on second dock doesn't seem great. Or uh, playing uh, Open Air Farmer on second dock doesn't seem great. 33% of the time it fails every time, indeed. I mean, it's just a, a choice, Kung Ming. I just guessed that retail dealer would be safer. It made sense with Sundial, the weak player in front of me, and the Bay Kelp that I have in hand. The three wood is good though if Mighty wanted to try to start into build next round. This is just the well. BMW maybe? BMW is really good this game. I am now sad about having taken Reed Belt, but in order to be sad, I had to know Forest Reviewer was in the game, and I didn't. I didn't know about Tree Guard either. Lime does grow, meaning I can build. Farm building, hey -o. Not something you frequently see. Um... It means Mighty doesn't have to start. Okay, I assume MM is going to take wood and sheep this round. This coming round, round six. I want to grow Sundial and Clay or Reedstone would both be pretty darn good. Uh, I guess I just don't have time to steal the sheep. As epic as it would be. It doesn't feel like I have the time for it. I would like to end up with both ovens this game, um, and Tree Guard makes that difficult. I guess I uh, don't really need the ovens if I have two uh, things that let me bake <laughs> on plow. I can be hyper-dependent on getting plows. At least for a little bit. But yeah, my grain engine should be very good this game. Mm, do not like to see that. Do not like to see that. Hopefully it's just uh, to double build or something like that. Wow, Mighty getting the round six stone also for one more accumulation through the mid game here. Yeah, I mean, you gotta hand it to Mighty. Perfect tree inspector play. We can all take guesses on uh, how much Vincent was paid for this nonsense. Yeah, this is 
what I assume to be wood and sheep for MM. Yep, fireplace for lime, trigger farm building, not getting the sheep. It is uh, a little ridiculous. Grow sundial. Um, and then next round, hope we can oven. We got a stable tree. Uh, what am I scared of? Stable wise. We know first Aqua's tree guard. Room doesn't combo. And yeah, so the miner, the miners that work with stable tree, first pick could have been carpenter's axe or, or the the super dangerous with stable tree miners could have been carpenter's axe or lumber pile. Um, I guess lumber pile is not even that amazing. Yeah, I also think it's more likely to be value tree, but I want to be aware of the other possibilities as well. Mighty is growing first action, successfully start building. I definitely want to build the oven first. Well, that's not true. If I if I read stone, then I can uh, reno with the oven and just hope that lime isn't taking it. Mighty with a first pick iron oven. Wow, and didn't take any of the bake helpers the first time around. I passed Mighty baking course and oven boy. I suspect there's some oven boy going on. Oh, Mighty's game is so good. The difference between Mighty hitting the 2 out of 3 and missing the 2 out of 3 is insane right now. Lime taking Reedstone is really annoying. Um, I mean, I could play Scythe. have to major. There's no other option. One thing that is available to me is uh, Ock Patch Caregiver and uh, start Flail, possibly.
All right, I I think. Uh, chat. I need you all to to be less talking about the future and strategy. The other option is I just ban everyone or ignore everyone. MM starts, um, as Lime could have a start and a build, but is instead renoing. Takes the BMW. Why are you taking BMW? Oh, because you're taking three wood. Oh, duh. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. Not being able to scythe here is pretty frustrating. Or not being able to minor here, rather. I am just considering taking three wood, one grain. I'm not getting better than three wood anytime soon. I don't want to like play patch caregiver and then take three food. What are we hoping for arena format next season? Uh, I would definitely be fine with a low draft number. I'd be happy to try seven. Eight sounds fine to me as well. I mean, I would even tolerate nine. I can't believe I'm doing this move. Draft 12. Certainly draft 12 is the answer. The way it was meant to be played... Always listen to game designer, Kappa. Savior's a Caverna Guru with ELO Zero. That is hilarious. Small popularity difference. Draft seven isn't even an option. Gurus just need some one guru needs to write it as an option. Um, but yeah, hopefully gurus are discussing heavily the merits of smaller draft formats so that the crazy people can listen. First move, Ak. What do we have? Adoptive. Okay, that's fair. I get my land air next turn, next round. My next awk is probably the field for resources guy, but maybe open air farmer. Yeah, 
Oh my god! <sighs> I'm having a great time right now. I'm having the greatest time. What's the best first pick if you can draft from the entire card set? Probably Collector or something that we should ban, like Craft Teacher or Child Ombudsman. Savior thinks Clay supports. I think it's, like, impossible for people to not let you have, like, five great collector cards if you're drafting from the entire card set. You just have such certainty that you'll find something great. Junior Artist... Well, then you need, like, Stewer Hardware Store, in my opinion. Maybe that's a little too strict. We have an Earth Oven here instead of upgrading to Hearth. Earth Oven is minus three food, plus two points. You think it's mad to block the Clay Supports combo cards? That's also fair. Okay, um, what am I doing here? What in the heck am I doing here? Uh, maybe just plowing and knocking doesn't feel great. Yeah, I don't feel good about this game. Um... Where has it gone wrong, exactly, is also an interesting question. Just player in front of me wanting Reedstone way more than the average 100 player. That's basically it, honestly. I tried to make an advantage play, and it has not been successful at all. You think uh, Bricklayer, Rustic, Reno Prepper just easily wheels in that crazy draft, Sivir? <laughs> that is a silly reference, Brindolin. I believe I am going to play Field Cultivator. Regular veg for MM. I guess it's a pioneer round. This is their second pioneer. It's not the number of pioneers you generally... Oh, it's their third. They took major. Uh, wait, yeah. So, play, major, veg, okay. Veg is a classic outrider round. Makes enough sense as a pioneer round as well. Scholar, I did not see that. Also, <laughs> imagine being able to play an Ock. Just imagine being able to play an Ock.
Is Mighty ever not building here? I'm deciding how much clay I want to grab off of Hollow. I guess for... oh god. I have seven. I can get to 13 on six clay. I don't know about this move. You could see collector stuff working, but you think freshman totally is against that. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, incredible ceiling from clay supports makes sense. Inevitably, someone was going to give this way more thought than I did. Yeah, 15 stone rooms with, like, an animal tamer. Imagine if we had Mansion. I'm very glad we don't have Mansion in this set. My god. <laughs> Reseller Mansion, yeah. You want a legacy game, Alex, where you draft the whole card set, but after each game you rip up all the cards? Or more realistically, you put them in a pile. <laughs> uh, and then... that That's an interesting one. Mighty in the tank here has considered major and fishing so far, and now ends up on two wood. We'll see if there's any plowing or inspecting, or sorry, plowing or guarding going on, and it is guarding. So that means my first action is going to be six wood here. Um... And that kind of locks in Mighty to Wood Build Grow, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I could be mistaken. Yeah, Mansion is three of everything except two read. That's how I remember it. And Half Timbered is one of everything except two stone. We got a Roast Master. Burgers are about to be flipped. In the old parlance. Mighty is not... Inspecting this round? Is that what Mighty is skipping? Or is he gonna skip the build grow? If Mighty hits a 50-50 on Tree Inspector, that would be insane. I don't think you can even try. That makes me want to just build a frickin' room right now. Ugh. I wanted to do other things. <laughs> uh... I wanted to do other things. Let's 
six clay for mm they also have day laborer so it looks like they'll be on clay rooms pretty soon uh i guess i'm going to read and mighty will probably build then take seven wood so why do i bother Fence like a good boy. Why don't I just fence like a good player? There's three sheep out there. I have a loom. Screw open air farmer. This is what you're supposed to do when you get early wood. Well, we'll see if um, I have enough ceiling at the end or if we can like deny mighty enough uh, stuff. Oh, MM is also gonna be able to just day labor into a room here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it's good I didn't try for a room, I will claim. Uh, ZK asking if anyone has tried more. In my opinion, and not everyone's, but a lot of expert players' opinion, more adds a lot of playtime for not enough uh, benefit. And I mean, not a lot, a lot of playtime, but like noticeable playtime for not enough benefit. Um, and base game is just so rich already. It's just like not super necessary. Um, I would agree though with Sid. I would actually say for two and three player, I'd be happy to play it. But yeah, I don't know the cards or anything. Alright, so I have the first action of next round. Lime taking two stone. God, I'm getting destroyed on ceiling here. I'm getting totally wrecked on ceiling. Which means, to win, I kind of need to destroy people's floor. I don't know about that! I don't know about that! With Stable Sergeant, I am up to capacity for eight, or on pace for eight sheep, so that's cool. Tree Garden Moor would be disgusting. Yeah, I mean, Stonecutter is banned in Moor, so I assume that uh, Tree Guard is Giga banned in Moor. <laughs> Alright, am I on two pigs here? Uh, the other hearth is available. I could just take Reedstone. I guess I'm on two pigs. There's also just, like, seven food. Mighty's gonna grow. MM could take four clay. Is Plow Driver showing up? Sure is. Is all creatures big and small good? I've only played it once, maybe twice. Um, I liked it, but it's uh, it's the same theme. And that's kind of where it stops, in my opinion. Ugh, my game is so basic. I mean, I'm still targeting a clay room late.
7 food, a very solid move for Lime. Or I should say, 9 food. Uh, I guess... Yeah, I don't think Lime's gonna let me, but I do have parts for Run Pottery here. And I do still want to play Field Cultivator very soon. Mighty Visiting Cops. And I assume keeping the wood, but... Yep, indeed it's keep the wood. It didn't have to be. MM starts. Getting them grow next round. But it does mean they can't wreck Carpenter, which might be fine with them anyway. Is this a uh, pottery yard? No, it's milk jug. Yeah, they played roast master before uh, plow driver, which I think is fair. The bottom feeding was really big at that point. Ooh, lime is taking the wood and reed, so I do get to run pottery. That is cool. That is a small break that I will take. I could also build fireplace. Yep, I could do that. Do we roast teal for their Oct choice? Mighty did hit uh, a good decision on Tree Inspector again. This is a very successful Tree Inspector. It makes me way more upset than I should be. Next Ock comes in, it, I guess it's Groom. I think Lime just hit Plow Driver and Groom. Nope, it's Bohemian. I lied. I lied. I'm half expecting Milk Jug to proc this round. I think that concludes the three miners I didn't see. Or, sorry, the two miners I didn't see in MMK's hand. Because I think I'm not remembering Lone Pit, Milk Jug, or Bean Field. Um, no, I definitely saw Milk Jug or Bean Field, but heck if I remember, to be honest. There's the Potter's Market. and the adoption. Well, I do really want to play Loom. I do really want to be first next round. Seatmate helps me in round 13, not 12. And yeah, I, I want to play more of my cards, but it's not working out perfectly. I am fed now on Clay Loom. And uh, if Milk Jug hits, then I can fully afford Patch Caretaker by, Patch Caregiver by a grain. Though I should probably be buying a veg. I should probably like plow and buy a veg on Patch Caregiver. Frick, I'm not playing Patch Care, I'm playing Field uh, Cultivator. Do I need this stuff? This stuff puts me... Three stone, one reed, one clay away from Room Stable Renovate. 
That's a questionable amount of things to be away. Why am I playing this card? The clay is good for pottery. Oh, pioneer round. It was definitely milk jug happening moment. I want stables too. I have way too much animals and wanting to wood pressure the table to not build stables this game. Building stables is a good excuse to build a room, but being start in 12 and having seat mate is not a good reason to build a room. All right, screw the room. I'm not building a room. I might still build stables, but I'm not building a room. This grain engine could have been so much more. It could have been ultra mega epic. It's still good, but it is not mega ultra epic. All right, um, MMK looks to be firing off Rhett Carpenter, no. Well, maybe yes, but they have decided to throw their clay food into the void for future veggies first. Yes, Sid! I need most epic grain ever. Otherwise, my heart is sad. Alright, if I want stables, do I even play this? It does help with reno resources. Okay, I'll play it. Questionable timing. The other thing for a veg is also smart, but whatever. I dislike my ceiling, yeah. My ceiling's low. I'm not the tree guard player. I don't have the big stone house combo. I'm probably doing better than I feel like I'm doing. I'll grant that. It's just like felt like I haven't accomplished that much. I want to play more cards and I haven't really had time to. Getting the sheep was big. I agree. Yeah, I'm only on three rooms. That's that's not correct in this arena format. What am I doing if it's plow sow? Not plow sowing. Manifesting Brindolin, I love it. Manifesting Grow. Also, Field Cultivator inverted itself. I'm definitely getting Stone next and Reed after that. We are getting Grow. We are absolutely a billion percent getting Grow.
We are getting grow. I'm a good player. Good players hit round 12 family grow. I'm one of those D-Gens. <sighs> okay. So... It's definitely not what we wanted. We are going to be able to seatmate our uh, last two grows. Because the uh, because one of my seat mates is the other non five room player, unless MM next round gets uh, feisty and takes urgent. Um, I think I might be taking four wood. One of the ways, as I was saying, to to beat players with better ceiling than you is to uh, try to take away their floor. Whether I can fully accomplish that or not, I don't actually know. But gotta try. I have so much to do. Do I have time for three wood? <sighs> Please take three wood, Lime. Be a pal. You want to animal deal with three pigs? That's also fair. The reason I don't have time to take three wood is because I also want to veg and seat mate and plow um, or something like that but you know I I don't know how else I'm winning here We are committing. I have successfully um, beaten a tree guard in this arena format by fence blocking them. Like, all set up for a wonderful plow, so in round 14, in first action, build two fences. Um, so I guess in some sense I'm testing that out a little more. The clamps are being attempted. If I don't seat mate now, it has to be like second action next round. And I also want to play Stable Sergeant this phase. Like, there's so much to do. I'm 
Like, how do I not take veg here? Stable Sergeant is a three-point move. Okay, I don't need Stable Sergeant. Taking Veg means that if I stay start, um, I can Plow So Bake. Yeah, losing that stage 5 flip is not good. It is very not good. Mighty tree guarding a little early, thereby getting reno resources. MM taking the 5 read. Lime taking the three stone. I don't need seatmate to get urgent wish. <laughs> Joinery? Joinery. Keeping start for me is pretty good. It would be pretty nice. Not what you expect. Um, we'll see if MM takes uh, two veg action or not. It's kind of like a two veg action, except it seems worse. Oh, they can wreck Carpenter. Okay, so it's not a two veg action, it's a room plus action. This is certainly interesting. I mean, my veg move looks insanely good now. Um, whoa! I forgot that this card was in the game. We are clearing off the remainder of Field Cultivator this harvest. Um, what exactly that does for me, don't ask, I don't know. I can't really justify the cows because I don't have space. Oh, I do. Interesting, I do have space. Um... Well, there are only four grow spots left, and there are five grows that want to happen. I don't know if I need to play Seatmate or not. Versus just taking cows. Like, what, what I'm going to do with that extra one of each resource is what I don't know. Building a room seems terrible. I mean, <laughs> the stone means I can take Western Quarry for Reno next round. <laughs> the wood might be threshing board point.
We're going last next round. Let's go. <laughs> Not growing. Taking four stone. Not growing. Taking grain utilization. I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, pray for drudgery, Reeve. Yes, that is what I do. I guess I grow, run to the bathroom, and hope two cows come back. That's the plan! It happened. I guess it happened. Neat. This is what happens when you install the clamps? It sometimes is. Um... Well, I feel a lot better about this game now. <laughs> I mean... I don't know if you could write up a more efficient round 13. Yeah, that was a good song for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sid, I... I I was actually in the bathroom. You have to trust me. <laughs> yeah, also what happens when Roastmaster uh, provides the cows. Well then. Um, yeah, good times. Lime is building now. Very generous. Uh, I guess there is a possibility we get stable blocked. But I think that's pretty low. Pretty, pretty low. Um, and yeah, I mean... I have benefited from being behind Teal. Uh, let's, let's be clear about that. It hasn't been the most obvious. They've played a very sensible game. But they have, in the late game, uh, been taking actions that don't get in my way much. Oh no, they've been playing great for a 100. This feels like I'm playing against a 300 or something 
around there easily. Um, Loom is giving me four more food, and then I have four extra grain. Okay. My food is fine. Too bad they didn't wheel, yeah, uh, whatever it's called now. Uncaring parents. You thought Teal was winning for a bit when I started wood clamping? Um, I think their ceiling is worse than mine. And I thought I could still get as good of a farm as them. Alright, four actions next round. I'm going fourth. Uh, we need four stables. Oh, there's also one more milk jug food coming to me this game. Uh, four clay is also excellent. Three clay is fine. Patch caregiver is an emergency vegetable. Regular vegetable is fine. I can't get two sheep for two points, but I can get one sheep for one. Knowing how to play a stone house game by pushing first room is a sign of good understanding. Yeah, there that's very true. There's also a cynical side to that, but we won't go into it too much. MMK taking to clay. I guess it's good that I didn't eat any clay. This is a very funny house. It's also just a good idea that when your fences suck, and you can reno with trowel. Just like keep building rooms. Nice thumbs up house for MMK here. 100 players will botch it? Yeah. That means MM needs to first action this two stone. Unless there's a stone source I'm forgetting about. Because I could take two stone. Mighty did end up fencing 12 here, and still has a reno for 5 points. I'm breeding... Okay, so I stable, and I breed 4 points. So, 49 after stables and breeding. <sighs> that for sure clears MM and Lime, I'll say. Mighty has 46 after Reno. And breeding... How is Lime not doing better? I mean, they're doing fine. They're on three people, that's why their score is low. And it's uh, slowly getting less low. It's possible I should be afraid of Lime. They can take Urgent first. I do have Seatmate for two moves, three points. And that's a nice thing to have in my back pocket here. Mighty opens on a five point cultivation.
responsible two stone first move for mm taking away a different sequence for me solid urgent for lime here Honestly, I don't really know what my move's supposed to be. This is pretty paranoid. But like, do I have better points this the rest of this game than three clay Oc grow? I'm just not convinced I have better points than three clay Oc grow. And I don't really see how I'm getting in anyone else's way from here on out. Mighty has Bale of Straw. I guess I could have taken three clay first. Unnecessary Gronada. Yeah, I think we're just getting to 54 here and hoping that's enough. Mighty's getting a cow. Fifty two plus a move. It's going to be close. Sam, what's up? Mighty currently eats a point, I think. A wood move is um, a resource and two food. And they are one food short. Milk Jug has hit. Bale of Straw will give two. Lime is finishing up at 49 here. And just double checking. I have four extra food, yes. Stable Sergeant is one point. Pigs are a point. Pigs are also a point for Mighty. MM Trowels to 45, Pigs to 48 is then Hungry.
We have found out what Field Cultivator gave me on its second proc. Yep, one point and tie break equity. Indeed. I mean, apparently sufficient tie break equity too. It's kind of funny. But yeah, it, it does look like I'm gonna win this as long as there's no final surprises coming out. This would be a really good win. Not having an ideal stage one. And deciding defense when I did. Killing off open air farmer because I got the wood and I did think I would need the stables for tiebreak. I'm not sure if I said anything about it, so you'll have to trust me that I was thinking about it. Yeah, good thing I didn't build a clay room either. <laughs> Sam wants me to build four clay rooms to achieve my losing condition. Oh yeah, Sam, you might know about um, Lumines three rooms, but I added a new emote today, <laughs> which I promptly proceeded to not respect. <laughs> We did not do three plus two rooms today. <laughs> it looks like a little off center. I tried centering it, but I'm not sure it worked. <laughs> I'm not on five people. I'm on four people. Well, I will be on five. I guess my argument is null and void. Um, the face on the rooms makes it look like they're on fire. Yeah, from far away enough, it does look like they're on fire. Yeah, definitely when no one else has enough capacity, the rooms are usually pretty good. Transactor! Goodbye tiebreak equity. That is a two-point move for Mighty. We're now tiebreak tied, and I can't do anything about it. Wait, no, that was a two-poo doc. Please don't have a food. Please don't have a food. Please don't have a food. Mighty didn't have a food. Bless. Wow, Seatmate was a swing of four against Mighty with two moves. Because Mighty had to lose a point by taking expensive Ock. Does Transactor take from Free Inspector? Oh, it might. If it does, then Mighty would have been winning tiebreaker. Uh, it shouldn't. I don't think. Transactor takes from the game board. This is not on the game board. As far as I would say. We'll see what actually happens. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's programmed too. Seatmate still making a difference. Love to see it. 
I must have blacked out when taking Urgent Wish, because I have no recollection of going to Urgent Wish here. Uh, this line was two food better than Stable Sergeant. Uh, Stable Sergeant was one point for two food on its own. And Seatmate enabled me to spend two moves on three points. Also, I have Loom and four extra grain. So the food is not super important. But I'm on correct parity for everything except sheep here. Maybe you missed the cow living at home. Mighty actually eating two points. Maybe I had a different interpretation. Oh, he did get the tree inspector wood. That's why. Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, rules question. The amount of like hidden corner cases and lack of clarity because Uve just uses whatever words he wants to. It is possibly Agricola's biggest imperfection is rules ambiguity on cards. I guess that's after clearly ban-worthy cards. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Mighty just asked in chat, Lime, you smurfing. Mighty, look at the profile, dude. <laughs> Uh, isn't that as much of the game developer as designer? Kind of, yeah. We escaped! We escaped with a win. The clamps. The clamps showed up. Not often that you, uh, that we get to activate the clamps in the revised edition. So that's really cool. Don't think I'm supposed to win if we just go off hand power? Oh, definitely not. Three rooms as the prophecy foretold. As it always foretells. Yeah, GG mighty. Land air does continue to be awesome. Your favorite stage one awk, wow. That's a uh, heavy praise. Early fencing does it. I am very thankful that you let me take six wood. Mighty. I am very thankful. Roastmaster helped, it did. But, I mean, I don't think it was bad for Lime either. Especially eventually going to Reader. It seems like 
extremely reasonable for Lime to play it and then activate it on huge bottom feeding stacks. Uh, but yeah, it being in the game definitely helped for me. Mighty, you landed those stone flips like such a chad. <laughs> that was insane. I'm simultaneously surprised and not surprised that you took joinery. It is always a dangerous thing. Landair might win the card which is most underrated in draft? Maybe. Another win for the tree guard doesn't need to be banned because it sucks, believers. Uh... What do you think about any argument that Tree Guard um, gets you more seconds and thirds than it should? But yes, the people who want it banned should argue for it being too annoying, which I will definitely accept as uh, a justification. Um, whenever I post again in ban list discussion, I will definitely say I'm totally fine with people who think it's too annoying. Um, I think there are ways to play against it somewhat. Like, I think I played against it pretty well. Um, but sometimes, like, if there's any more wood injection in this draft, I can't take the line I took. Like, if I saw writing boards or baseboards in this draft, I cannot do what I did. If someone played Informant, I can't do what I did. Um, so, I think I am probably on ban for Game Warping Annoyance. Um, and in general, I am happy to hop on any train that says ban this card for being too annoying. Because, I mean, if you look at my post history way back in that thread, I've always been happier to ban things than the average. Sid, do you think it's too strong? Fair. Sid's opinions uh, are almost always right, so if you think Sid's wrong, you should reconsider. General. That's generally my rule, at least. Uh, Royal Wood bannable? I would ban Royal Wood. Basic problem with it is that it makes the game less fun. Totally agree. Oh my god, do I agree. It is a challenge, but not a fun challenge. <laughs> not even type B fun challenge. Like, I feel relief, not, like, fun about the wood clamps. If there's more wood injection, I can't do what I did, but I can probably do 3 plus 2 rooms. Maybe. I guess I wasn't thinking about that. My read situation wasn't good, though. After declining to play read belt, and then... Which was also really important, by the way. My stage 1 food tempo would have been death if I played read belt. Um, but yeah, in the mid-game, other people were more aggressive on read, and I didn't get enough for more rooms, even if I wanted them. It's fun for the tree guard, though? Sure. But we shouldn't say, well, I mean, I think it's clearly a net negative if three people hate it <laughs> and one person loves it. I think that's, on average, it's half a dislike. Sid, you saw my hand being food tight early? Okay, I didn't. But that's because I was dumb. <laughs> I just am not a huge fan of Water Lily and Pond Hut. Having exactly two ox is really not my style. Like, yes, it would have helped me this game in, like, round two or whatever, but, yeah. Yeah, you don't think I would have played it because the others were too important. I was also kind of thinking that, but of course, Reed Belt doesn't fit for the same reason. 
and there is a bit of a D-draft component, but I don't think I was claiming that at the time. I am happy with all the miners I played in the order I played them. Yeah, I mean, I think in general my sequencing in Agricola games the last couple weeks has been really great, so I am happy with pretty much all the things I was in control of. Yeah, it's not my style. So this game I ended on, or I ended up having two ox for most of the game, but um, in general, I would say it's because I don't want a play style that requires me to have a set amount of ox at any time. I want maximum flexibility on when I play my cards. There are two sides of the tree guard stuff, yes. I mean, you could argue there's more than two sides to it. Well and Stone Oven are pretty impactful majors to take off the table. Okay. So in hindsight, how fun would this game have been for someone with hand truck? <laughs> it would have been an insane hand truck game. Absolutely not so. Just notice when, if you had gotten one food dock, you'd beat me by one resource, yes. A resource which I'm not sure you're supposed to get. Transactor says take resources off the game board. So, I would claim Tree Inspector is not an accumulation space on the game board. I'm not sure if I should file a bug for that or not. Which, uh, you know, is concerning given that I'm partially in control of rules these days. Uh, me refusing to answer Sivir's question yesterday, also concerning. Check the original German? We could. I don't know if that'll help, though. Alright, um... That's going to be it for me. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this stream. Hope you have a great rest of your day, a great